Good evening. I'd like to call to order the Finance and Safety Committee meeting of Monday, February 5th, 2018. The first item on the agenda is approval of the agenda. Do you have a motion? So. Motion by Vilhauer, second by Thorson. All in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed, say nay. Motion carries. Second item is approval of minutes from the January 2nd and 16th, 2018 meetings. Is there a motion? So motion by Albertson, second by Solom. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Third item on the agenda is authorization for the mayor to sign a property purchase and development agreement between the city of Watertown and the Watertown Development Company. And we have a couple of Watertown Development Company staff in the audience. Would you like to come? And I will introduce Chris Shilkin, is the new director of Watertown Development Company. And Michelle Kakachik. She's been here all along helping us through this. So we'll probably put Chris on the spot. But <laughs> I, um, I put this on both the Finance Committee agenda and the full council agenda. And the agreement was approved by the council in 2016 for this property. Um, and it's, it, it's land owned by Joan Endries. And it's across from the... Um, business park area. Uh, can you bring up the map? A little bit farther. No, the, I, I asked them to leave the edit in there to show the agreement that was approved with the changes in red. And then you will see this again on the full council agenda without all the red stuff. <laughs> okay. So, so <laughs> since this agreement was previously approved by this council for this very land, I thought it would be good to show the original agreement and what was being changed. And you can see there's a diagonal line, the red dash with um, a buffer around it. It says 6.08 acres. That's an easement. and the city and Watertown Development Company were going to purchase this and in the process we discovered that there was a blanket easement across all of the property and which made it really that killed the deal so they the owner went back and negotiated the easement down and then now the purchase is for the property south and west of the easement property um, and I will let Michelle, if you want to add anything to what I'm saying, um, to get that right. Uh, that's, that's, good. Uh, that's correct. Um, the original purchase was going to be for about that 84 acres. It's going to now be for about 10 acres less than that, since it won't include the area within the easement or those two triangular portions above. Yeah, so if you can... Glide that up, Pete, just a little bit so we can, no, the other direction. There, okay, so we can see it. The, the part that we're purchasing would be everything below that, um, the hatched area, and not the triangles, and not the little hatched area. So are there any questions about that? Glenn? Uh, okay, I wanna make sure I understand because I don't remember what this looked like from before. So what we're buying now is just the area or what the proposed purchase bond is just the area below the the hatched area is that right that's correct and and previously it was the hatched area plus the the triangle yes okay but you said that that's only 10 acres you said that I mean based on the scale it looks like it'd be more than 10 acres though well, it's six and four, so it's about 12, actually. So. Well, there's okay. 3.55, 2.23, and 6.08. Okay. It, are, so, so, so we're, not buying, we're not buying the land above the hatched area, so will that still be, I mean, we don't have to worry about any kind of, kind of difference in use between what we're proposed buying versus what we're not buying? 
The area last year when we went through and did this agreement, after that we did petition to bring this into the city limits and all of it is already zoned I-1. Okay. Thank you. Yep. So this would be industrial, an, a future industrial park. So I'm looking for a recommendation from the Finance Committee for approval of the amended agreement. Councilman Vilhauer. I do have one more question. Ha has the, the, the new purchase price, I mean, are, are, are the, is, is uh, Joan Andrews in, a, in agreement with that new purchase price? What were yes. we? What, so, okay, yes. so that, that's already been, been yeah. worked out. Yeah, the, uh, we renegotiated on the purchase agreement and we've settled on the price, which is how that's calculated within this agreement. The only thing that could change anything is once they establish the legal description as it will be according to the survey, that could change it by a little bit, but the per acre price has already been negotiated and that purchase agreement is contingent on the council approving this updated agreement. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Is there a motion to recommend approval? So moved. Moved by Councilman Vilhauer, second by Albertson. All in, is there any more discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Those opposed signify by saying nay. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any old business? Any new business? None. We have no reason to go into executive session, and so I'll look for a motion to adjourn. Moved Move by Roby. Second. Second by Solom. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Okay, we'll move right into the Public Works Committee agenda. Oh, sure, yes. Sorry, I always forget. I'll give Pete a...